Today we're going to be playing a short game of hide and go seek. Let us know if you spot the animal hidden in some of the photos we're going to show you today. But I'm warning you, it's not going to be easy. Today we're going to be taking a look at 10 animals with super camouflage that really exist. Number 1 is so good at hiding itself that you wouldn't believe that they're so common. Stay tuned to find out what animal that would be. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Dead Leaf Mantis This cryptic mantis lives to mimic dead leaves, hence the name, and is considered to be one of the most beautiful mantids out there. Their coloring ranges from dark brown to light brown or somewhere in the brown scope. They also possess a broad protothorax that looks ripped and crumpled like a leaf. When threatened, the dead leaf mantis will freeze and throw itself to the ground with all legs folded to look like a dead leaf. Clearly, this insect's camouflage is extremely effective. Just look at this photo. Not only does the mantis copy the color of dead leaves perfectly, but it also effectively mimics the jagged edges of dead leaves. I imagine that if this guy would remain motionless in a pile of dead leaves, I wouldn't stand a chance of even spotting it. This insect's only giveaway is a pair of big, stunningly beautiful pitch black eyes which easily stand out against the brown background. Recently, these mantids have actually become a very popular pet for those with the taste of the exotic. Number 9. The Impala Tell me honestly, look at this photo and tell me if you can see an animal. You don't, do you? I guarantee you that there actually is. It took me a few minutes to spot it just because it's so well camouflaged. The animal so expertly hidden in the photo is the Impala. Impalas are medium-sized antelopes that roam the savanna and light woodlands of eastern and southern Africa. In the rainy season, when food is plentiful, they may gather in large herds of several hundred animals to browse on grasses and herbs, bushes, shrubs, and shoots. Herds offer protection from predators such as lions. An alert impala will bark out an alarm that puts the entire herd to flight, and a fleeing impala is no easy prey. Impalas are fleet runners who are able to leap distances of up to 33 feet. They use this technique to escape predators and sometimes apparently simply to amuse themselves. The impala can also clear bushes and other obstacles by soaring some 10 feet in the air. Typically, a running impala will simply jump over anything in its path. But when the protection of the herd is not enough and fleeing at great speeds is not an option, impalas, especially the young ones, can easily blend in the tall grass. Number 8. The Copperhead Snake Here's a photo of a typical forest floor. Tell me, do you see anything unusual? Yeah, me neither. But that only attests to how amazing this animal's camouflage is. The thing is, this is one animal that you would want to spot immediately. Copperheads get their names from their bronze-hued heads. These large snakes, found through the southern and eastern United States, have bodies that range from tan to copper to gray with characteristic hourglass-shaped stripes. The reptiles grow to lengths between 2 and 3 feet, although there are records of individuals longer than 4 feet. Their stout bodies abruptly taper toward their thin tails. While being smaller than, say, like a python, they are responsible for more venomous snake bites than any other in the United States, in part because they are widespread and populous. They can also tolerate living in subdivisions and developed land, making interactions with humans even more common. But they are most at home living in the woods, where their intricately patterned back blends in perfectly with the forest floor. Number 7. The Grey Tree Frog Yep, there's a frog there in that photo. Don't be too hard on yourself if you can't see it. Most people wouldn't be able to. But most importantly, this frog's predators wouldn't be able to see it as well. As long as it sits still, at least. The gray tree frog is about two inches in length, it is green, gray, or brown in color, and it can also be a solid color or it can have blotches on its back. All in all, this thing is a master of disguise. The gray tree frog is nocturnal. It spends the day resting in trees and shrubs, and at night it crawls among the branches and leaves looking for food. It usually only comes out of the trees and bushes during breeding season and in the winter. It hibernates under leaves, bark, or rocks on the forest floor. One amazing thing about this frog is that it can change its color in seconds. It tends to become darker when it's cold or dark. Its coloring helps it blend in with the tree bark. That was an unintentional rhyme on my end. It also has a white underside and lots of warts. It has large, sticky toe pads that help it cling to tree bark and other surfaces. And on top of all that, it has bright yellow to orange skin under its thighs. Number 6. The Pygmy Seahorse Pygmy seahorses aren't simply tiny seahorses. They are a distinct group of animals that live in the tropical oceans of Southeast Asia. 
Most are no more than 2.5 centimeters or 0.98 inches in length. At the moment, there are seven known species, although at least one biologist who studies the animals believes they should be divided into additional ones. Scientists suspect that there are many more pygmy seahorses waiting to be discovered. Pygmy seahorses live amongst much larger animals called sea fans. A sea fan is actually a colony of small animals known as polyps. It has a branched fan-like structure made of calcium carbonate and protein and resembles coral. Pygmy seahorses are often very hard to see as they rest on a branch of a particular sea fan, since the appearance of their body surface resembles that of their background. Their bodies are covered with rounded bumps that look like polyps, as well as stripes and spots that help them blend in with their background. Number 5. The Wraparound Spider Known as the Wraparound Spider, Dolophones is a genus of spider found primarily in Australia and Oceania. The genus contains 17 species known for their abilities to blend seamlessly into their surroundings during the day by wrapping themselves around twigs or flattening against tree bark. Most wraparound spiders have an upper abdomen shaped like an inverted disc, composed of smaller discs with slits in them. This allows the spider to perfectly wrap itself around branches during the day, fooling potential predators. When night falls, the spiders become more active, spinning webs in between trees. Females typically measure about 9 mm in length, while males significantly smaller at around 5 to 6 mm. They might spook you if you come upon one out of the woods, but don't worry, their venom doesn't appear to be harmful to humans. Then again, who needs venom when you can hide so easily? It is incredible to see the patterns and colorations of the different species and just how well they blend into whatever type of tree they're hidden against. Number 4. The Arctic Fox The best kind of camouflage is the type that will render someone or something completely invisible to the naked eye. And in the Great White North, no other creature has perfected this art more than the Arctic Fox. I mean, just look at this photo. All you see are parts of the fox's head. Arctic foxes have beautiful white coats that act as very effective winter camouflage. The natural hues allow the animal to blend into the tundra's ubiquitous snow and ice. When the seasons change, the fox's coat turns as well, adopting a brown or gray appearance that provides cover among the summer tundra's rocks and plants. These colorings help foxes to effectively hunt rodents, birds, and even fish. But in winter, prey can be scarce on the ground. At such times, Arctic foxes will allow the region's premier predator, a polar bear, to eat the leftover scraps from its kills. Foxes will also eat vegetables when they are available. Number 3. The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko If there's one thing I've learned about camouflage while researching for this video is that the best kind is something that allows you to look like something you aren't. Animals mimic tree bark, grass, and even snow, but the most effective yet, and maybe that's the reason why a lot of animals utilize it, is to look like dead leaves. And the amply named satanic leaf-tailed gecko is definitely one of them. The satanic leaf-tailed gecko is one of 14 species in its genus, including the mossy leaf-tailed gecko. These geckos are found only in Madagascar, and emerge only at night to hunt. It's thought that they're after mostly insects, yet little is known about their diet in the wild. In captivity, though, satanic leaf-tailed geckos feed on almost everything they can overwhelm, including crickets, flies, spiders, cockroaches, and snails. Their amazing camo is their first line of defense against predators, but that's definitely not the only trick up their leafy sleeves. When spotted by a predator, they would initially stand their ground, open their mouths, and emit loud cries while brandishing their reddish tongue. They will also flash their tails to confuse the potential predator, but should that fail, they can leap deftly from branch to branch or straight down to the leaf litter. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we're going to take a look at a creature that took the art of camouflage and took it to an entirely new level. In fact, its camo is so good, it's virtually invisible. Number 2. The European Eel Animals evolved many ways to make sure of the survival of their species, and camouflage is just one of them. The European eel, however, decided that colors and patterns matching their natural habitat is not enough, so they went with being invisible instead. Well, transparent to be more specific. They're so transparent that they've also been called glassfish, and one look at the photo should immediately tell you why. This eel's body allows 100% of the light hitting it to pass through its body, with only its dark eyes visible at any given time. Not all European eels are this transparent, though. They actually undergo quite a few color changes during the course of their lives. They are completely transparent as soon as they hatch from their eggs, but develop color as they grow up. They turn brownish-yellow on their sides and belly. After 5 to 20 years in fresher brackish water, the eels become sexually mature, 
Their eyes grow larger, their flanks become silver, and their bellies white in color. In this stage, the eels are known as silver eels. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Great Horned Owl Nope, you're not just looking at a photo of tree bark. Hidden there is an amazing bird, a silent but deadly predator. And as you can plainly see, or rather not see, a master of camouflage as well. Hiding in plain sight in the photo is the Great Horned Owl. The Great Horned Owl is the most common owl of the Americas, easily recognizable because of the feather tufts on its head. That is, if you're lucky enough to see one. But they're so common that chances are you've actually already seen one of these majestic birds out in the wild. You just didn't realize it was there. It's actually easier to hear them rather than spot them. Great Horned Owls are largely nocturnal, so they can be difficult to spot. But in the dark after sunset or just before dawn, they can often be heard vocalizing with their well-known series of hoo-hoos. Do you know of any other super camouflaged animals? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.